Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video, I am doing a little bit of a day in my life. So today is Friday and every single Friday the puppies turn another week old. So today they are three weeks old and every time they turn a new week, there's a lot that we have to get done on that day. So we got a lot of fun things to do today. We're going to be taking puppy pictures. I need to clean up their area this morning. Um, send out their updated emails. I'm going to lunch with Jackson's mom. Um, if you guys remember Jackson from last litter, I'm going to meet his mom for lunch. We've never met before because he was like a rehome situation. So I'm going to meet her for lunch later. So that's kind of going to break up our day. And then hopefully I'll come back and we won't have too much more to get done. But if you guys are new here and you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. And let's just get into today's video. All right, guys. Indy is eating some for breakfast. Got her gnawing down on that. And then the puppies are in here waking up for the morning. As you can see, it looks pretty wet. They're doing okay with their pads. I think I'm gonna add another one in there so it takes up a little bit more space. I think I've given them a little bit too much space here. So I need to get these out and change the pee pads and then also wipe them down and then put the other one in here as well and then get them out, put a new pad down. So while I do that, I normally try to get Indy to nurse them so they stay in one spot. So I will wait until she's done eating before. I do that, but I'm going to grab the trays and do those real quick. All right, I got the potty pads out and I got Indy laid down, nursing the hungry babies. Good girl. So I'm going to get these cleaned up and then ready to go back in. <laughs> guys I've got all the uh, potty trays ready Indy is still nursing need to wait on the babies to finish nursing before I move them and put down a different pad so I'm going to grab a pad I really need to fold laundry because I'm running out of pads I just haven't folded them so Got the pad. Now I just have to wait for her to be done. Once she's done and they're out, I'm gonna pick up that other pad, move them out here, put this pad down and the potty trays down and we'll be good to go. As you can see, and as you saw, puppies are running around exploring. Like, what is that one even doing? So this is the new setup. Two in the back, one on the side, and this is their little laying area. So I gotta get that puppy and put everyone back in. Alrighty, everyone is in exploring, sleeping. Hollering. So, the area is all clean. Now I'm going to go take this to the laundry and figure out what's next on my to do list. Alright, guys, we're three weeks old today. These are all the things I need to do today. So, I have added a designated potty area. We did that a few days ago. Always expose your gentle handling, welcome box novelty. I think I'm gonna do that one right now since they're all anxious. Or I'm gonna do that one later and I'm gonna try to get the weight three pictures and the weights and nails done. 
I think that's what I'll do, but I am gonna do the noise exposure. Check that, and I'm gonna get that started on the screen. We're gonna do thunderstorms today. So thunderstorms, we actually had a thunderstorm yesterday, but we're gonna redo it. Put it pretty high. So this is our sound for today. So they're gonna be listening to this. They are so talkative right now. Already used the pee pad. So. All right guys, it's 10 o'clock now. I have to leave here by 1240 in order to get to lunch. So I've got about two hours. I think I'm gonna try and ignore the thunder. That's their noise sensitization for the day. I think I'm going to try to get the photo area set up and get the photos done. And then I'll do photos before I leave and try to get the visitation email done before I leave. And then when I come home, I'll do their Welp and Box novelty, their weights, and their handling. So that way it's not too much at once. So that's the goal. So I'm gonna get their picture area set up and then hopefully get pictures started. All right guys, I paused our thunderstorms real quick. You guys know the setup, ring light, little setup for the pups, and I am ready for puppy pictures. So. I'm gonna do these off camera. I know you guys have seen these a hundred times now, or maybe twice. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these, finish these up, and then get on to our next task. All right, let me pause this. All righty. I got all of our puppy pictures done and uploaded into Lightroom. They did so much better this time than they did last week. So I'm going to clean this up and then go in and edit on Canva like I showed you guys in a vlog a while back. They're all sleeping and hanging out. And I, on the other hand, am doing really good on time. It is 10.36, so I'm gonna go and edit these, get them uploaded, and then work on our three-week email update. And then after that, by like 11, 11.30, I'm gonna get ready for lunch, and then after lunch we'll come back and we'll do the rest of our activities for the day which include gentle handling exercises weights nails and well box novelty items so we're gonna do that after lunch since they've had a big morning so i'm gonna go do this and then i'll catch up with you guys in a second just finished editing and posting our puppy photos I sent out our puppy like email with all the info for this week and then I also updated our photo album what is your deal the dogs are like freaking out over something I don't know what their deal is like they've got the whole like diamond messed up but anywho also got the photo album on our Facebook um, family group um, updated so Got a lot of done computer wise. It's 11.15. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and then if I've got any time between getting ready and going to lunch, which I'm sure I will, I actually might let the dogs out first, then we'll go get ready. Um, I'll catch up with you guys, but if not, I'll see you guys at lunch. All right, guys, I have finished getting ready. As you can tell, I look a lot better now. The dogs are outside. I have to leave it about 30 minutes, so I put them outside for a second so they could run around, stretch their legs. And then I am about to fold some laundry because I've got some laundry that needs to be folded. So I'm gonna do that and then get ready to change, let the dogs in, put them up, and then head to lunch. gas but I think I'm gonna be able to make it there without having stops so I'm gonna focus on driving get there I've got her a bag because the family when they rehomed Jackson didn't give her the bag 
I don't know why, but whatever. So I'm bringing her a bag and I'm gonna put in my GPS where we're meeting. Head that way. All right, guys, I made it. I'm running late, so I'm gonna run in and I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, guys, I just got back in the car. It is literally hotter than you know where. We ate outside, so I'm sweating. It was so fun though. It was so nice catching up, hearing all about how Jackson's doing, and he is just seriously the best puppy. He's like literally the puppy of my dreams. And like the puppies I want to continue to produce are literally Jackson. I just love him. Um, I, I'm like I said in the car now. I need to take this off. Um, it's just hot. I'm in the car. I'm gonna go home, and then we're gonna pick up where we left off. We need to do puppy weights. We need to do their nail trim. We need to do their Wilpinovity item and all that stuff. So I'm gonna drive home and then we'll catch back up. All right guys, as you see, I'm home now. I changed back into comfy clothes because ain't nobody got time for a cute outfit. And I'm going to go lay Indy down and we're gonna do some nursing before I start with our nail trimming and weights and all that stuff. So then after that, we'll probably do our Wilping box novelty item so we're gonna do handling exercises weights and nails after she nurses so let's go get the baby some milk huh indy all right guys indy is laying down she's nursing they kicked the blanket out of the way so now he doesn't have any grip poor baby but she's just enjoying her little nursing session look how big they're getting they're seriously getting so big and she's getting tired of it. I'm going to let them nurse and then I'm going to do all their other stuff. Alright, they are done being fed. I put them all back in here to use the potty. I'm going to give them about five minutes before we move on. In the meantime, I went ahead and gave Indy a little bit of a pre-dinner snack. She loves the new open farm food we've been feeding. So, gave her a little snack so she could get some food. And then we're just gonna wait on these puppies to be done using the potty and we're gonna start our weights. All right guys, so I've got my little mini nail clippers, my scale. I'm gonna go and grab each puppy one by one, weigh them, trim their nails, and do our handling exercises. I've got a little thing right here that tells me what all to do. So we rub ears, cover eyes, open mouth, and run the fingers on gums, rub the belly in circle motions, run hand down back, run hand and fingers along the tail, Touch all paws, tap nails, run fingers around the neck and under collar, touch their nose. And I'm also going to see about putting them in their new collars. So I saw that, that reminded me because they're getting pretty big and the little tiny ones aren't really fitting anymore. So I'm going to grab Tahiti and we're going to get started. All right, guys. This is Miss Tahiti at three weeks old. She's a little sassy, not having it. Just fed. I don't know why she's squeaming and squealing. I'm gonna go ahead and get her weight. Three point five pounds. Chunky baby. Girl, I'm gonna take her little collar off. See about put this collar on. So it's gonna be lime green now, not light green. Yeah, these are gonna fit pretty good because they're chunky puppy. Put her little collar on. So we have that. Okay, you've done your weight. You changed your collar. So now we're gonna do the handling. I don't know if she's gonna like this, but we're gonna take it slow. I'm gonna rub her ears, do it very gently. Cover her eyes, open her mouth, and rub my fingers. It's also just gonna show me who's got teeth and who doesn't. She's got some breaking through, but not many. I'm gonna touch your nose. I'm gonna rub your belly. They normally don't like the belly for some reason. I'm gonna rub my hand down her back. my hand and fingers along her tail. I'm gonna touch all of her paws. I'm not gonna tap her nails today because I am gonna cut them. I 
just changed her collar too, so I rubbed my hands around her neck, and then I already touched her nose. So now, that we've done that, try to get a good grip out of her. Try to cut her nails. Alright, so this is Santorini. Guys, my puppies get chunky and they get chunky fast, but I find that my doodles at least, I can't speak for other people's, but my doodles grow very fast for the first six months of their life and then they kind of level out. I actually ate lunch with Jackson's mom as I was telling you about earlier and Jackson is only around 32 pounds, I think, and he's six months old and he grew really fast, but then he really slowed down. The vet doesn't think he's gonna get over 35 pounds and possibly 40 at that, so. They really do grow fast, but then they kind of level out. Okay, let me make sure I'm getting around your chunky neck. All right, here's Miss Maui. Such a pretty girl. The lighting's kind of bad right now. There's her. Let's see how much she weighs. She is 3.5 pounds. She is one of our silver collars or gray collars, whichever. She's our gray collar girl. All right, all done. All right, guys. Next we have Capri. She's our smallest girl. I think our smallest puppy in general. So let's weigh her. Oh, are you gonna be sexy? You're catching up. She's 3.1 pounds. Okay, this is St. Martin. My very chonky boy. I'm not gonna be surprised if he's already over four pounds. He's so chap, like so chunky. Look at him. He's like the chillest pup. Oh, 3.9. I'm so close. 3.9 pounds. You're so close to four. Let's do your collar. So he's our uh, gray collar boy. Someone responded to a story about him today and said he looks like a potato. And by golly, I think I agree, you are a potato. Next is Jamaica. Say hello, Jamaica. He's got the prettiest little white markings. Three point six. Okay, it got dark again, but next we have little Fiji. She's got the prettiest face, I think. So there's her. Let's see how much you weigh. Three point eight. Okay, last but certainly not least is Aruba. Sweet puppy. Oh, you gonna freak out? weight. He's the smallest boy at 3.2 pounds. Oh, it's saying 3.3 now. I already wrote down 3.2, so that's just too bad. But he's pretty small for a boy. Pop his little lime green collar on. My husband is on the mower. You can probably hear that now. All right, guys, my camera overheated, so I just finished his 10-step handling and nail trim off camera. But I'm now done with that. I'm going to put him back, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about the whelping novel, the item we're going to do today. All right, guys, so I can check off puppy nails, puppy weights, and gentle handling exercises off my to-do list for the day. So now we're going to look into doing the Wealth Box novelty item. I plan on using my favorite beginner novelty item, which are the Teachable Touchables. Alright, so these are the Teachable Touchables that I plan on using. Let me get on here so we've got a little bit more light for their Wealth Box novelty item today. Comes in this little bag. And as you can kind of see, there's different textured items like this texture, leather, little dots, 
Sherpa material, just plain old fabric, some reflective peel. So all these different squares for them to touch and sniff and play on, it just helps them, you know, get desensitized to things and to feel different items and I really like using these. So this is linked down on my Amazon storefront under puppy curriculum if you're interested, but I'm going to wait a minute though before we do that because they are all sleeping. I think all that just wore them out. So they're all sleeping, so next time I see them all like start waking up and perking up, I'm going to do those. But for now, we're going to let them sleep. Oh, they might have heard me. And we'll come back in a second. All right, Willow came in here with me to say hello to the puppies. Kind of wake them up for me. So while she's waking them up, I'm going to put their little open box novelty in here. Say wakey wakey. All right, guys, I put some of the little squares down. I didn't put all of them. I just put a few. Tempting to wake some of the puppies up. See if they notice any of the little squares. They're just kind of waking up. And some of them are playing or going back to sleep like Mr. Sandorini. So we're going to see what they do as they continue to wake up. Looks like St. Martin has found one. No, that's Jamaica. Jamaica is getting one of them. Little Capri's up. She might go potty real quick. You gonna potty? Good girl. Look at her using the potty pads. And Jamaica's really exploring. What are those, Jamaica? Let's see if Capri goes over and starts Gaten. Look at her, she's a little weary. Oh, and now she's trying to chew on it. Alright guys, just fed the dogs. Puppies aren't seeming too interested in this. And we're about to leave to go eat. So I'm going to put this stuff up here in a second. And then we're going to end today's vlog. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of today's video. All the dogs are eating dinner and munching behind me. We are going to my sister's house to eat dinner. She's cooking for once. She never cooks, so... This ought to be fun, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!